Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this awesome burning text effect using Premiere Pro. To get started in your project panel, create a new black video, drag it onto Video Track 3, and adjust its duration to your liking. We'll be using the lower video tracks later. With the black video layer selected, go to the Effects panel and search for the Circle effect. Double-click it to apply, then add the Turbulent Displace effect as well. Next, go to the Effect Controls panel and increase the circle effect's radius until the white area fully covers your text. Click the stopwatch icon next to the radius to set a keyframe. Move this keyframe to the end of the timeline, to the start, and set the radius value to zero. Now, let's adjust the turbulent displace settings. Increase the amount to around 300, set complexity to 10, and adjust evolution to 50. Now, add your text using the Type tool. In the Effect Controls panel, Adjust the font and size to your preference. And use the alignment buttons to center the text. Now move this text layer to Video Track 2. With the text layer still selected, go to the Effects panel and add the Track Matte Key effect. Then, back in the Effect Controls panel, set the Matte option to Video Track 3 since the black video is on track 3, and check the reverse option. To enhance the effect, hold the Alt key and drag the black video layer to an upper track to duplicate it. With the duplicated layer selected, go to the Effects panel, add the Gaussian Blur effect, and set the blurriness value to 100. Now, select the text layer, copy the existing track matte key effect, and paste it using Ctrl plus V. Set the matte to Video Track 4 to soften the edges. Next, duplicate the black video layer two more times and apply the invert effect to the top layer. In the Effect Controls panel, decrease the scale value to 96 to control the outline thickness of the wave effect. Select both these layers and nest them. Now, duplicate the bottom text layer. With the duplicated text layer selected, go to the Effect Controls panel, change its fill color to orange, and delete the extra track matte key effect. Set the matte to Video Track 5, since the nested layer is on Track 5. Change the Composite Using option to Matte Luma and uncheck the Reverse option. This will create a burn effect. If you have any questions, comment below, and I will reply as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and see you again in the next video.